Hi, we're Solution57, and this is the multi-window slash multi-display demo. What we have is we have a Nexus 7 tablet, which is running Android AOSP, and this is going to serve all our applications. And then we have remote displays. One's going to run on the Samsung Galaxy S3 using a remote desktop protocol transfer, and we're going to have a display running on our laptop here using RCP video transfer. First, let's start with the Samsung. I'm going to launch a remote viewer here. I'm going to take my clock app and send it over here to the Galaxy S3. You can now see it's running on the Galaxy S3 or being displayed on the Galaxy S3 because it's actually running on the Nexus. Let's start the clock here. You can see it running. Sometimes it will jump to the background but it's still there. The display is still running. As you can see, performance here is fairly good. So, what else can we do? Let's move over to the Nexus again. Here, we'll now try to send over our YouTube browser playing a video over to the PC. Let's launch our PC viewer and then let's send over YouTube. You can see here the VLC media player, loading up the video, okay, and let's get it to run. What you can see now is video coming over from the Nexus. This is actually running the browser and it's playing the video in the browser and then the rendered image is being transmitted over here. As you can see it runs fairly smooth. We can even try running it full screen to show you the full screen video. And remember, this is still VLC, RCP streaming, and it's all running on the actual Nexus device. And you can see here on the Nexus that even though that's still playing, the performance here is very smooth. We can try showing both devices here. Exactly. This is it. This was Solution 57. Thanks for watching. Hi, we're Solution 57, and here's another update for our multi app slash multi display solution. So, let's launch our player, let's launch Angry Birds. As you can see, ladies is quite good today. So, as shown previously, this is definitely playable now. What we can also do, yes, get a nice zoom of that. So, now, let's try something else. Let's do something with the camera. We'll have a look. There's the viewfinder. And here's my hand over the other device. And I can actually, if you just hold the phone over this one, like in the camera, I'm going to take a picture of you now. Go over here. Can we see it? Yeah, there's a picture we took on the other device. Pretty neat. So, what else can we do? Well, let's just drag over our calculator, for example, to the other device. Here it is. That works. Of course, we can go back. That's rooted as well to the camera. So that's running again. Let me just get back from the gallery. Okay, and also we can launch a local browser on this device. Have that running. 
run over Fruit Ninja through the other device. There it goes. System seems loaded. There it goes. see what else we can do. System is a bit pressured now because there's a lot of apps running. Let's just kill some of them. Let's kill Fruit Ninja, the browser, the calculator, Angry Birds. Okay, what else can we do? Well, we can probably launch YouTube on the other device. So, as you can see, this really does support anything we throw at it. So, this was Solution57. Thanks for watching.